Well, we've been working on the last door for this thing and it's one of those slow progress things because getting home from work a little later a lot of times uh, fall it's always busy here so this this door half's taken forever that other one only took a day this one's like I'm out here an hour here an hour there working on it but it's gonna be a lot nicer when that thing's in place because we're starting to get more north winds through here but um, so last video we put out, we talked about a 7,000 year old well casing made out of wood that was made by the ancients. <clears throat> and I thought maybe it'd bear mentioning perhaps maybe, maybe a theory as to why that has lasted so long underground in the water and everything else. And I contend, and this will probably bring up some argument in the comments section, who knows, we'll see what happens. I'm always up for good educational debate, so no douchebaggery, we'll, uh, we'll keep it nice and clean. So anyway, I contend that modern lumber, the way that we make modern lumber, will never even come close to outlasting the way that it used to be made. Honestly, I just think there's no comparison, and I'll give you a good example. Look at the difference in some of the old barn roofs where you've had hand rived shingles versus sawn shingles, wooden shingles. And you will notice if you look up below, you're almost always going to see water damage on the sawn shingles and more rot than you are on the hand riven stuff. Reason being, when you hand rive something or you split it off, so say you're splitting planks off of logs, you're splitting them with wedges and things like that. You're following the grain down. You're not disrupting the cells and the cell walls in that lumber. So everything's a little more intact. It's a little stronger. How we make lumber today by sawing it and things like that, you damage that whole strip of cells on there and that leaves you open to more water damage and things like that. So it's a very interesting thing. Most things that require a lot of strength, um, when you're, how do I put it? So like our timbers in here, they're huge. They're big timbers. We have 10 by 10 wall posts, 10 by 16 tie beams. They're pretty big. There might be a case for an argument where 
Maybe we wouldn't have needed them quite as big if everything was split and hand hewed, things like that. Even with hand hewing, you're still going to damage the cell wall. But I guess the point I'm making in a roundabout way here, if I could ever collect my thoughts enough to discuss something, is say you take your furniture making, something that you need to bend, say uh, just about anything really. It's usually hand riven. The old, the old time. I mean, you had pit saws hundreds of years ago, things like that, where they, you know, you'd have one guy on top of the timber, one guy below, and they'd have a big saw and they'd be working it back and forth. But um, it's just neat. A lot of historical examples of lumber and things like that had, that have stood the test of time it was all riven out, it was all split rather than sawn. And I think that's just kind of a neat thing. And and we talk about. You know, some people will say that the buildings we make today are going to last a thousand years, and I said it in the last video, I don't see it happening because I don't think the methods are quite as in touch with, not to sound like a hippie, but it's not as in touch with nature and the way things are intended to be. When you're doing a lot of things by hand without the use of the power tools, and you're splitting things off, you're riving, you're using a draw knife, essentially you're making things just a little bit stronger that are going to last a little bit longer because you're keeping more of the inherent strength of that wood intact rather than when you saw it. I hope all this makes sense, but in my head it makes sense, but sometimes I don't always, uh, <laughs> I don't always put it out there very well. But So anyway, enough of that. Um, so we're almost done framing that door out. It's taking a little bit longer because I have to frame, I'm framing a man door in it. Uh, the diagonals, I'm probably not going to half lap in there like I did when the la with the last one. And that's simply because I'm already cutting quite a bit out of there for the half laps. I don't want to take much more away for the strength of it. So we'll see what I decide. Maybe I'll just go for it. Who knows? But um, so anyway... Someday we might get that door done, hopefully soon, because I have a lot of other projects I really want to get on with. I got some more, uh, I picked up some more bats from uh, the Amish sawmill because I don't have any logs right now that I could mill my own. So I figured, you know, it's a lot easier to buy the 1x4s than to take 1x8s and 1x10s and cut them out. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this one, folks, and I'll see you on the next one.